Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome to Stuck in the Kernfield, where we explore Illinois. Lately, I've been thinking about different colleges in Illinois and weighing the pros and cons, because I have two teenagers in my house. Maybe you're in a similar boat, or maybe you're someone who is looking into going to college yourself. If so, you'll want to stick around to find out which 10 college towns are the most dangerous. And if you'd like to learn more about the Prairie State, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Without further delay, here are the 10 most dangerous college towns in Illinois. Number 10, Elsa. This is a tiny village of only around 600 residents, so it's surprising to me that they have a high crime rate. The FBI estimates that the chance of being a victim of a crime is 1 in 34, making the crime rates there 17% higher than the national average. Elsa is home to Principia College, which is a religious private liberal arts college that was founded in 1912. The college claims no affiliation with a church, but they require all of the staff and students to be practicing Christian scientists. So that's weird. Academy Award nominee Robert Duvall graduated from Principia in 1953 with a BA in drama. The college currently has a student body of 480, so the school basically makes up the entire town. I guess that means that the Christian scientist students are a violent bunch or something? I don't know. Number 9. Champaign-Urbana. This is the home of the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. I've never quite understood why the city names are reversed for the university. Everyone in the area says the town name is Champaign-Urbana, or they just call it CU or Shambana. If anyone knows why the name order is switched around for the school, leave a comment below. But anyway, the university was founded in 1867, and it's classified as an R1 doctoral research university under the Carnegie Classification of Institutions of Higher Education. They have a student body of almost 52,000, which is why the town during the summer season feels like a ghost town. Champaign had 602 violent crimes reported, with seven of them being murders. That's 79% higher than the national average. The chance of being a victim of a crime is 1 in 34. This is an improvement from previous years, though. The crime rate has gone down by 26%. And if you live on the Urbana side, it's still not great. They reported 150 violent crimes with one murder, and the chance of being a victim of a crime is 1 in 31. However, Champaign-Urbana is surrounded by small towns that are only a few minutes away, so if you need to be close to the university, you can still mitigate the chance of being a victim. Number 8, DeKalb. This is home to Northern Illinois University. That's a public research university with a student body of 25,000. NIU was ranked 198th by CollegeNet's Social Mobility Index College Rankings, and their graduation rate is around 50%. It began as a teacher's college, but expanded to include business, nursing, engineering, and other programs. DeKalb has a population of 42,600 residents. The FBI reports that there were 228 violent crimes and 1,105 property crimes in the last year reported, making DeKalb safer than only 17% of U.S. cities. They had 41 vehicle thefts, which seems high for a town this size. The chance of being the victim of a crime is 1 in 33. The crime has been trending down, though. It decreased by 12% from the previous year. Number seven, Carbondale. Southern Illinois University is located in Carbondale. It is a public research university that was founded in 1869 as a teacher's college. Since then, it has expanded to add colleges of law, medicine, and dentistry, and now has an enrollment of just a little under 12,000 students. Carbondale has a population of around 25,300 residents. The last reported data shows that they had 111 violent crimes and 760 property crimes. That means the chance of being the victim of a crime is 1 in 30, giving it a crime rate that is 31% higher than the national average. The crime has actually decreased 12% in the last year, so Carbondale is now safer than 20% of U.S. cities. Number 6. Galesburg. Galesburg is the site of Knox College. It is a private liberal arts college that was founded in 1837 by a group of Presbyterians and Congregationalists led by a guy named George Washington Gale. The college campus was the site of the fifth debate between Abraham Lincoln and Stephen Douglas in 1858. They have around 1,200 students now. 
The poverty level in Galesburg is 22.3% compared to the Illinois rate of 12.1%. So that probably has something to do with the crime problem in the city. There seems to be an issue with employers not paying their employees a living wage in Galesburg. Their unemployment rate is 7% lower than the national average, yet their median household income of $33,601 is 39% lower than the national average. The chance of being a victim of a crime in Galesburg is 1 in 27. The FBI estimates that over 3,000 property crimes occur each year. That's out of a population of around 32,000, and the crime rate increased 4% over the previous year, so Galesburg is moving in the wrong direction. Number 5. Quincy. Quincy University is located in Quincy. Obviously. It is a private Roman Catholic liberal arts university that was founded by Franciscan friars in 1860 who came from Germany to serve the German-speaking immigrants in Illinois. They have a student body of 1100, and the university's motto is, I am the herald of the great king. So, okay then. Violent crimes are 65% higher than the national average. The likelihood of becoming a victim of a crime is 1 in 27 in Quincy. They had 252 violent crimes reported and 1,288 property crimes. The median household income is $42,078 compared to the Illinois average of $59,196. Women have median earnings of only $23,105, while men earn an average of $35,900. So Quincy isn't a good place for women to live until they figure out how to address that issue. Number four, Chicago. Shocking that it's only number four, right? I was surprised. But based on the per capita rates, the chance of being a victim is one in 24, which is significantly better than the city in the number one spot. Chicago is home to dozens of colleges and universities, including the University of Illinois Chicago, Chicago State University, Northeastern Illinois University, the University of Chicago, DePaul University, and Loyola University, just to name a few. There is no question that you can get a good education in the city. There are just some things that anyone considering Chicago should know before they enroll in one of these institutions. The violent crime rates are 164% higher than the national average. In the previous year, there were over 27,000 violent crimes reported, with 563 of those being murders. There were also 86,513 property crimes. However, that isn't a city of almost 3 million, so you have to take that with a grain of salt. There are some good neighborhoods and not so good neighborhoods that you should avoid. In addition to the crime, the cost of living is 10% higher than the national average and 12% higher than the Illinois average. Number 3. Carlinville. Blackburn College can be found in Carlinville. It is a private arts college affiliated with the Presbyterian Church that was founded by Reverend Gideon Blackburn in 1837. It was originally an all-male institution, functioning as Blackburn Theological Seminary. The first female student was admitted in 1864, and then five years later, the name changed to Blackburn College. At last count, they had 590 students. There are only around 5,500 people living in Carlinville. The crime increased 29% from the previous year. They had 21 violent crimes and 230 property crimes. The chance of becoming a victim of a crime is 1 in 22. This is due in large part to a lack of decent jobs in the area. The median household income is almost $20,000 below the Illinois average, so the poverty level for Carlinville is 17.8%. It's even worse for female workers. Women make an average of $15,646, compared to men averaging $32,787. The unemployment rate before the pandemic was 62% higher than the national average. Without the college, there wouldn't really be anything in this town. Number 2. Peoria. Peoria is the site of Bradley University. The university was founded by Lydia Moss Bradley in 1897 as Bradley Polytechnic Institute in memory of her six deceased children and husband. Originally, she and her husband Tobias were going to establish an orphanage, but then he died as well, so she decided to establish a school instead. They typically have an enrollment of 5,400 students and have over 100 different programs. Peoria is one of the larger cities in Illinois, so it stands to reason that they would have more crime, but on a per capita basis, it's way more crime than most of the cities and towns in the state. 
Their population is 115,000, but they had 860 violent crimes, 22 of which were murders, and 4,509 property crimes, including 422 vehicle thefts. The chance of being a victim in Peoria is 1 in 21. The violent crime rates are 101% higher than the national average, and that's with the crime decreasing by 4% in the last year. Like several other entries on this list, Peoria has a poverty issue. Their poverty level is a whopping 21.7%. Women earn, on average, $13,000 less than the men, and the unemployment rate was 6.2%. There really isn't much good that can be said about this city. Before we get to the number one spot, remember to hit the like button if you're enjoying this video, and subscribe if you haven't already. And now number one, Springfield. The University of Illinois at Springfield is a public liberal arts college that was established in 1969 as the Sangamon State University, with the first classes being offered at a Methodist church in downtown Springfield in September 1970. That October, the school started offering classes at their current location, and in 1995 it merged with the University of Illinois system. They now have a student body of 5,431. Springfield has a population of around 115,000 residents. For the last year on record, there were 955 violent crimes, including nine murders, and 5,487 property crimes. The violent crime rates are 119% higher than the national average. The chance of being the victim of a crime is one in 18. Springfield is safer than only 3% of US cities. The poverty level is 19.7%, which is 30% more than the national average, and men earn 41% more than women. For being a state capital, there doesn't seem to be much effort being made to turn Springfield around. Hopefully someday they'll figure it out. If you're thinking about sending a child to one of these schools, or you attended one yourself, leave a comment below to say hi. I'd love to know more about my audience. Thank you for watching, and until next time, I remain stuck in the Kernfield.